Hey folks, this is Sanji from uh, World Robotics League and today I wanted to showcase a quick little tip uh, or I should say given that the FLL season is just one week uh, from now uh, as in I think it starts on August 4th uh, so I wanted to showcase one of the challenges to you uh, at least uh, based on the pictures and all whatever I could create and I wanted to showcase how sometimes students, teams uh, especially teens, uh, younger kids get stuck in a certain way of thinking and potentially start attempting a challenge that is not necessarily the very best challenge uh, to attempt even though it may look really nice and it may be really cute. So uh, I'm going to show the challenge on the screen now and you can take a look at this amount of time and you can see that this challenge is the slide challenge. Uh, I don't know what it will actually be called. Uh, in the FLL kit, I, it is uh, bag number four and uh, it's essentially like you know you end up making a slide on which you have two kids one is sitting at the very top and the second is sitting at the or is just beginning to climb up the uh, slide uh, ladder and i am assuming the uh, task or the mission is to actually get both of them outside so let me show and explain what i did how i created it and then why i think it's not necessarily probably the best idea even though it looks the coolest so without further ado let's take a look so here is the challenge as I created, right? I mean, if you remember the picture, uh, this portion is pretty smooth, I mean, uh, and easy to create. Uh, over here, I'm not as certain, not exactly certain how they got this nice angle. So it's not going to be 90 degree, which is not how, uh, how the actual uh, diagram is. It's more like this, which is how uh, actual stairs are also in slides. And the slide is created simply with using these... Uh, connector uh, beams, I guess beam peg, call them too wide and uh, they simply take pegs inside. So uh, one of the uh, kits is actually shown on the uh, challenge sitting like this. And if you look carefully at the picture and I'm putting the picture again on the screen, you can see this one actually, uh, there's a, the person sitting in the back actually has a support structure on which they are sitting because of which they remain straight. But now that I have taken down the screen, you can see if I just let it be, it actually goes all over the place. It's not sitting smoothly. Like, you know, just, uh, it, if, if you leave it somewhere here, it's gonna be at any angle that you can think of. And when you are bringing it up, let's say, if, if you are bringing it up, it has a chance of getting stuck. Right, like this, it can actually get stuck here. And uh, it's, especially if I leave it here, it actually tends to go backwards and it gets stuck. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, there is a chance it can stay, it, there's a chance, but there is also a chance that it can get stuck and you can see it's not even all the way up to where I have taken some creative liberties on showcasing. It's actually below that and still gets stuck. Uh, I know most kids uh, will actually just love this challenge. Like, you know, this is something that they have seen ever since they were kids. And uh, they would say, yeah, why not? I mean, this looks like cool. Let's try it and attempt this one. But um, imagine, right? I mean, you try this one, bring it up here and leave it somewhere. One, this has a great chance to slide back. Uh, so if you if if you miss if your robot even misses a little bit you know if you're bringing it up and slide it it goes down uh, or if you left somewhere here and uh, well I guess and if the, if the thing actually got stuck like this here then again you're stuck uh, the other thing is there's one that's actually sitting on the top so this one probably is the easier one if because if you just push it here a little bit well again see there are all these uh, gotchas like you know you are thinking the kid is gonna go properly and fine but here the kid is upside down. Well, let's put it back over here, right? So assuming like a Eurowatt can come and push it from, let's say here, right? I mean here, it's probably gonna go down. But if the goal is to disengage completely from this one, uh, it may work or it may not work. So if you are really like, you know, uh, if, you're, if the heart of your kids is really hell bent on uh, trying to make sure that this challenge works, then I would really recommend like, you know, just take the top one and push this one off uh, because even with gentle push, this one actually seems to go. This one, the one at the top, this one is reasonably, uh, reasonably uh, well done that it will go. The key thing to remember is essentially this, this, this frame over here, this frame, there is, there is not a whole lot that's actually holding it very rigidly to this one. It's actually just kind of uh, like, you know, you can see it actually can, can make complete rotation around this one. So it, when it goes, if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. And on this side of thing, where the slide other things, there aren't very many places to get stuck. And in fact, uh, it's all mostly smooth. Uh, so it's not gonna have too much problem. But while taking the second one, there are, there are a ton of places where you can actually get stuck. Like for example, this one, this one I didn't even notice earlier. 
now it is like your robot took it and uh, now it's like it's stuck stuck actually stuck you cannot push it anymore so if you are attempting this one try just the one that's at the top but don't try the one at the at the bottom there are other challenges always in the uh, in the uh, actual uh, missions and number of missions that there are available that are actually a lot easier and in general especially with younger teams and uh, inexperienced teams we have seen that the ones that they like that's the one they uh, try to do uh, even if uh, it is extremely di difficult uh, so in general uh, if you are trying to optimize for points try to go for challenges that are actually a lot easier to do and give you more points or even if even if they're not uh, giving you a ton of points if they take very little time and you can do multiple of them in a small period of time then you're better off doing that than potentially something like this the top one makes sense the second one uh -uh. I think uh, you, that's not the one you should be attempting unless I'm proven wrong so that's a quick peek uh, in one week FLL will actually have announced this uh, challenge anyways and you you will be able to see this with the uh, actual model but uh, based on my feeling and based on uh, what I could make I think this is one mission where it is best half attempted only and that's it for this week uh, I'll see you around next week uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel it really helps us connect with you and happy FLL